Hi, this is the Balkan Adventures podcast with me, David. And I'm Tamara, and I'm here driving David and me to Sirbat to see our friend that came from Australia. So normally when we do podcasts in the car, which I like to car a car cast, call a car cast, uh, we've had good responses uh, in the past saying it's really nice like being in the car with you. So today I've tried to put uh, another dimension to it by having a camera running. So I don't know if the camera's like horizontal or not, you'll be the judge of that. But this is the road from Laktashi to Serbats. And as Tam says, we're going to visit our friend. Mickey Regulic. Mickey Regulic, who's uh, from Sydney. She's from Sydney and we met Mickey through online actually. She was following David's, uh, <coughs> David's uh, YouTube channel and then we met her in one of the restaurants that is near our house. And uh, we kept seeing her because we really like her, kept seeing her since then. Mickey comes normally for a good few months every summer. So she like works like crazy back in Australia um, and then comes here. She's bought a house. Or does she inherit the house? I don't know. She made a house. Yeah, she's she built, built a house. She's yeah. built a house in Serbat. So her family are originally from the area, right? Yes, they are from the area. So whenever she comes, we try as best as we can to find some time to go and visit her. And today's a really nice day. We've had some pretty miserable weather since coming back from holiday. A little bit more about the holiday. We went from uh, Banja Luka down to Montenegro to the Bay of Kotor. But over the last few years, we stop on the way down so this year we stopped just south of Mostar yes we stopped south of Mostar uh, the village called Buna and Buna is famous by the Dervish house and we stayed in uh, Martel Kola which was very nice they had swimming pool I swim there I really enjoyed myself room was okay uh, I really liked the whole place David is not too happy with the room I would say oh, no the, the room was okay um, I think the location is first class I wasn't too impressed with dinner though but we no, had the food was not good so next time we'll but the breakfast try... was the breakfast was very good but the next time we'll go somewhere for uh, dinner when we so... stay over or we might stay in another place which we also like in Mastar it's called Villa Henri so we'll see yeah we went then we spent overnight and then we made our way down to Montenegro it's lovely there we love being on the Bay of Kotor we did some exciting things this time because my brother came um, my brother and I my brother Trevor and I climbed the castle of San Giovanni which is 1455 steps wow and that's you, a lot of steps yeah and you increase up to the altitude of 1200 meters mm, so great. that was good although Trevor said it was going to be a breeze I think when he came down he he felt like he'd done some physical yeah he did and I was lazy I didn't go with them I stayed in the apartment and waited for them to come but I made stuffed peppers and uh, we had so many stuffed peppers and that we enjoyed for two or three days for lunch. <laughs> the apartment was quite nice, it had a beautiful view over yes, the lake. it has a beautiful view over the lake. I really love the balcony because when I go to these uh, sea holidays, I really like to spend all my time outside sitting on a balcony or at the beach. So I don't spend any time in the house unless I'm cooking or sleeping. So that's all it is. So we, we did the climb and we also, the three of us, went for the first time on a speedboat ride up the lake. It was uh, up, the, up the Bay of Kotor. Fantastic. So you, what was it like swimming in the Blue Cave? You can see this, by the way. We've got a, a video about this on our YouTube channel. And David will put the link below this podcast to it. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming in the Blue la Blue. Um, Blue cave. Say, blue cave, blue, blue lake. <laughs> it was like a blue lake actually. In the blue cave, it was uh, a wonderful experience because uh, uh, you, you don't see the blue all the time. It's like you're swimming in a black, black sea, and then all of a sudden you get all these uh, blue lights, and it's really, really nice. And the water was uh, surprisingly warm. Like the water was warm on holiday as well in the sea. But I thought in a blue lake, in a blue cave, it's going to be cold because it's at the open sea, open Yadran. But you know, the water was very, very, very warm and very salty as well. Um, yeah, and on the way back, we stopped off at, we saw some old submarine pens. We stopped off at a really quaint church, which is on a man-made tiny island in the middle of the Bay of Kotor. It was a wonderful day. Um, my brother went back, but on the next day, we went back to Perchan and what's been bothering you over the past couple of visits I mean you're in mm. love with palm trees aren't you yes I'm a palm tree woman I love palm trees they are my favorite I don't know why but I just love them and uh, I always I, I try to grow plants uh, palms here uh, at our property but it doesn't they, they don't grow I think it's too cold or I, I don't know I'm not lucky 
but uh, the palms down there have been dying, haven't they? Yes, they have been dying down there by the bug called uh, surlash in uh, my language. Which in English is the red weevil. You can check that out and I'll put a link Yes, below. and this bug, I didn't recognize uh, the bug. Uh, you said it was pretty. The, it was so good looking bug, like pretty red and black. And I find it very nice with the big nose. And she landed on David. And I'm like, look at this pretty bug. But I couldn't, I didn't, because I saw the bug on the posters, but I didn't thought it was that bug that big it's a big bug and a pastor you think it's a small little beetle but no it's not so this bug destroys the palms and while we were sitting there they have a like experimental station where that restaurant is because uh, nearby the restaurants it's a huge uh, monastery Catholic monastery or the church better to say church where they had a uh, big huge palm four, trees and they're all dead four and they all dead and I guess that's why they have the experimental station where they catch these uh, surlash bags. And uh, the woman came from the institute from uh, Risen. Risen, uh, by the way, all the palm trees are also eaten up in Risen. If you Google Risen, it's a small little place across where we're staying, across the Prichen. Uh, <clears throat> they had like a, the whole avenue full of, of the palm trees and the palm trees uh, are all destroyed. They had like 30, 50 palms, I'm not sure how many, in the, the whole place, they're all destroyed by this bug. So she, so they're making this trap for them. They which, have something that attracts them, don't they? they? They have something like, they put the water in the dish, and then they put uh, dish liquid soap in the water, and then they put the um, dates, they, she put the three dates because she came, she collect the ones. So once when they go inside, they like the sugar from the dates because dates comes from palms and they love to eat palms. So they come inside and they cannot get out because they have uh, the dish soap and it makes them slippery. And they drown in it. And they drown in it, yeah. And then they take them and they experiment and uh, do lots of experiments with them. I was checking online um, and it's it's terrible because it, I think it, they, they come from Asia, they arrived in Saudi Arabia in 1995. Yes, that's uh, what she said. On the right now, if you're watching on the video, you'll see... Paparazzi. The police. P police paparazzi. Who are uh, doing their, their checks, yeah. But anyway, they it came to Saudi Arabia and then over the years it's moved up and it's now causing huge uh, uh, havoc, cr creating havoc. Yes. In uh, Italy, in Spain, in um, France, it's now in Slovenia. Yeah, and she also said that it's uh, very hard to, like the palm trees they look uh, like they're normal they're not destroyed by this bug and then uh, they die in a day or two so it's very hard to recognize this the palms who've been affected by this bug and she also said that these bugs they mate three times a year and they have about 200 eggs each time so that's 600 a so year per bug per one bug yeah <laughs> and there's so many of them well anyway the, the, what, what is happening is they are they found some sort of a cure by inoculating the tree. They actually inject a pesticide into the tree, which will affect the um, bugs. And also, they lay out um, tablets around the outside of the tree. Um, how successful they're going to be in eradicating this? this she bug. said they they have saved a few palm trees. But it's injections. a long it's a long fight. It's a long fight, yes. And it's going to take years. And the population of bugs, I think it's quadrupled since yeah. they arrived. And it's so Montenegro. sad because the, the palms, the palm trees are absolutely beautiful. The only saving grace... And it takes like uh, 30 years to have yeah. a big palm tree. It takes a long time for one to grow. The only saving grace is that when, a, when the palm is growing, the new palm, the bugs do not attack a thin tree. They will not attack a very thin palm tree. So the idea is to plant the palms again and immediately inject them with the pesticide. So the, 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 the dream scenario here is for the palms to grow with the pesticide inside them. And hopefully that will eradicate them, but I don't know. But we'll be going back to, to Montenegro again, won't we? And we'll be able to Next see year, how, yes. how things are doing. Well, that's it from this short car cast. Quick update audio wise about what we've been doing. If you follow the blog and if you follow the YouTube channel and Insta stories and wherever else you'll find us you'll know that we're back from Montenegro and we're cracking on but we didn't do a podcast for some time so this is it so if you're listening thanks very much do subscribe um, to the podcast and then you'll be notified every time 
uh, a new one is there. If you're seeing this on YouTube, because I want to put this on YouTube, okay. um, tell us what you think about idea. having a podcast with a car cast with the forward viewing camera. Yeah, maybe you can put the tiny screen of me swimming in the lake because we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, 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 and the view from the balcony. Yeah, we'll see. It. We'll, we'll, well, yeah, we'll try it. It's a podcast, but yeah. let's see, see how we go. And I hope you've enjoyed this short part of our trip to Serbats from Laktashi. It is rural, as you can see. It's a one one direction road almost, just two lanes. But this is where we live, and soon. We'll be having months of overclass clouds and rain and everything. So, uh, anything else to say? No. Okay, then. That's it from us, and Uh, have a good day, wherever you are. And we'll catch you on the next one. See you again. Bye. Bye.